this is a tutorial for creating a hip droop on Rhino 3D. And so what we want to do is start out by creating a footprint. So I'm going to start by a simple 20 by 20 foot footprint. So polyline. Start here, 20 feet. And C, close it off. Now, let's offset this curve to give it a five and a half inch thickness. And that'll become the thickness of our wall. There we are. So now that we're here on 3D, we can extrude this. Take this. Extrude curve, 10 feet. And that becomes our top plate, 10 feet. Now what we're going to do is start creating the roof. Which we're gonna, what we're going to do is start out by creating an outline at the outside top plate. Now we can offset this whatever amount. So I'm going to make it a three foot over here. And we're going to have to pick our roof slope. So depending on how you pick your roof slope, you're going to pop, you're going to bring this down. So if I want a 6 and 12, what we need to do is bring this curve down 3 feet. Now let's see, 6, 1 foot 6 inch. Sorry about that. 1 foot minus 1 foot 6 inch. And that'll give us a 6 and 12 roof slope. So what we do is we loft these, and essentially that gives us the beginning of a, a hip group. Now what we want to do is get rid of these. What we do is fillet, fillet this curve and this curve, and fillet this curve, and that curve. So now we have essentially these, the hip hip beam curves. So now we want what we want to do is loft this curve and that curve together. That curve and that curve. We want this curve and this curve to be lofted. And we also want this curve and this curve to be lofted. So essentially now we have these surfaces that we can play with. You can get rid of these. Essentially we already have them with the surface. So you select that. Okay. Now that we have the roof, what we want to do is create the rafters. Rafters. And then we also want to create the sheet. So the rafters We'll make them um, brown and the sheathing will make it orange. So the way that I do the rafters is I go on the side view, make sure that it's wireframe or ghosted or some kind of way that you can look through. And you're going to want to go up six inches over 12 inches. And this way, you can kind of recreate the. Sorry about that. You want to recreate that roof slope. And as you can see, it is matching. So we can. We have to make the decision of how thick the roof is going to be. Um, I'm going to offset it, make it a 2 by 8 roof rafters. So I'll offset by 7.25, which is the actual 
dimension, and so we'll offset here five inches, half inch, I mean, for the sheeting. And so now we can create a line here. This will give us a guideline as to how to extrude this, because we can't just say extrude this surface seven and a quarter inches, because that's not the same. See, this dimension here, seven and a quarter, which is what you want, is different when you do it this way. Yeah, it's actually a longer extrusion because it's at an angle and it's actually a longer surface. So what we want to do is take this surface, extrude surface, select surfaces to extrude. Here we go. Direction, and they can go up and down. Set the base point. You go from up here. Nope, actually quite the opposite. You extrude the surfaces, you go direction, up, then we set base point. Now we can go from this intersection to this intersection. Now we have the refractors, but now we want the sheathing on top. So we change the layer, extrude, surface, pick that, pick that, pick that and that. And now it's going to go up and down. You go here to the right hand side, set base point from here to here, the same thing that we did before. But now as you can see, it's a perfect hip roof with plum cut. The official last official last thing you need to do is create a line from this inside of the top plate up. And what you need to do is move everything of the roof, the whole roof, move it from this point down to that point. So that's what we're going to do. Take everything, we're going to move. And the way to do it, the trick to just move it up and down and not move it in any other direction, you hit project. Move from this intersecting point to this intersecting point and end point. That makes it go up and down perfectly. And when you look over, oh, here we go. Nice. We have a nice big overhang with the structure and everything. Now you can take that plane, get rid of it. And ultimately, what you have is I'm going to, this is my, my little trick that I do create this line, move it over, project it. Select everything, and now this is basically what it looks like. In that section, thank you very much for watching.